Our next caller is Nick from Washington. What up, Nick? What's going on? Hey, guys. Hey, what's up? How are you doing, man? Not bad. How are you guys doing? Good, yeah, good. Great. So I finally decided to get some numbers done to try and stay on top of my health a few years ago. I started on testosterone around that time as my original numbers were 223 total testosterone, 7.7 free. When I wrote my question, I had just received results from being on the first dose of topical and my total was 216, so it had gone down. Endocrinologist didn't test my free testosterone then. Since then, he doubled my dose of topical gel and told me to stay on it for a few months before getting blood work done again. I haven't taken a blood test since being on this dose, but I'm scheduled to take one actually next week. I feel like most people have some kind of big stresses in their life leading to low testosterone, but I have a great family, a great job, get to go on vacations, I have good workout planning, a pretty decent diet, and I normally get good sleep. I try and do most things I know to be right so that I can practice what I preach with my patients. I feel like my stress is definitely a lowercase s stress. How can I get my numbers up to be healthier without just having to double my dose or having to go on injectable hormone therapy? Um, when I Also, when I previously wrote my question, I talked about doing a powerlifting meet, but seem to have found my competitive outlet, outlet in jujitsu and would love to know which way you would go for programming to continue to improve my gas tank and maybe improve my explosive abilities and grip strength for jujitsu. Sorry for the long question, yeah, no, guys. No. Good question, Nick. Uh, how, how old are you? 40. I'm 40, 40 years old. Okay. So here's the problem with trying to raise your testosterone while you're on testosterone therapy. You can't raise it naturally while okay. you're on therapy because you're getting the, the negative feedback loop signal from the exogenous testosterone. So whenever you use testosterone, even at relatively low doses, your body picks up on this and reduces or, low, or, or, or stops its own production, essentially. So there's no way to raise your testosterone while on testosterone therapy, aside from raising your dose of testosterone that you're taking. Now, uh, if, you know, there, is, there are a lot of men that experience this issue with um, like the, the testosterone creams or gels. Okay. That's how you're using it now? Yeah. Yeah. A, a lot of men can't seem to get their levels up to where they feel good in that kind of higher range. This is why most athletes or most uh, individuals, men who, you know, they, they, they opt for the injection. Injectable testosterone pretty reliably will get it where you want. With the gels, just, you know, depending on bioavailability, how much you need to use, it just doesn't seem for some people to, to be effective enough to get the number up. You're probably looking to get your total test in the, you know, you know six, seven, eight hundred range. And with the gels, uh, for some people, it's pretty tough. I mean, you're already using it, and you actually got lower testosterone. Exactly. What you were testing before. So your options are, you have kind of two options. And obviously, you want to check with your, your hormone doctor before making any decision. Uh, but one option is going off testosterone and going on a protocol to raise your testosterone uh, naturally uh, with some medical intervention. So yeah, I was surprised they didn't uh, recommend HCG in the first place with him. He, you probably you might already be taking. Are you are you taking HCG with your androgel? Um, they went straight to androgel. Yeah. That's so weird to me, especially so, the way you're asking this. I'm assuming you probably told them too, like you didn't want. Your, I would have. They would explore that first. It might be. I mean, it depends on the hormone specialist. I mean, so our partners at MPHormones.com, like this is what they. This is really what they specialize in. Yeah. Um, and they don't, you know, cause if you look at the standard, all right, you go to your typical doctor, <clears throat> they're going to look at your testosterone and be like, Oh cool. We have you up at this number. You're fine. Even though you might have symptoms of low testosterone, oftentimes they won't recommend unless you're looking for fertility. So here's what happens. Sometimes you go to a hormone doctor. I want to raise my testosterone. <clears throat> cool. Let's put you on, uh, you know, androgel or whatever. But if you say, I want to raise my fertility, then what they do is put you on a protocol that actually raises testosterone naturally with some, med some, some medical intervention. So they'll put you on like HCG, maybe in clomiphene in combination, which will raise testosterone. So what, what they both do, so HCG is mimicking luteinizing hormone essentially. So that tells your body to produce more testosterone. In clomiphene blocks the estrogen receptor, sending another signal saying we need to make more testosterone because the way a man makes estrogen is through testosterone. So that and that'll raise your testosterone. Right. Even in clomiphene by itself, tends to do that. Now the problem is when you go off. Uh, sometimes it stays in a higher range. Other times, sometimes it goes way, it goes back down. And then they're like, okay, we got to put you on on testosterone. If you want to stay on testosterone, don't go through that. Don't want to go through that process. It's a bit of a process. Um, talk to them about injection. I mean, injection will get it up, get that testosterone level up, and it'll stay high. It's not going to be hard to 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 keep it in that higher range. 
Um, and now again, I'm not a hormone specialist. This is just based off my experience working with these, uh, with our partners. I would go through them, but it, but based off of what they're telling me, with the patients that they work with, like this is what they keep telling me. Are you Nick? Are you just not a fan of needles? Is that why you opted for the gel instead? It was it was actually my endocrinologist. He said he didn't like the way that it spiked the the testosterone and then dropped over yeah. the week. He wanted it to be more steady state. Um, he said couple, if, if we need to it, sometime, we'll go to injectable. Yeah, but you can also manage that with the halving your dose and going mm -hmm. every every third. There's actually too. two things that people do. So I I don't do my so I'm on TRT. I don't do one dose a week. I do two. I divide the dose twice throughout the week. Another thing that people are doing, and you can look up the data on this, and again, go through your doctor through the stuff. I want to keep emphasizing or that. Or go through MP Hormones. Or MP Hormones has doctors too. Some men are taking their testosterone and they're doing very small doses daily sub-Q. Uh, okay. and, and that gives you this nice balance. Now, I haven't experienced this. I don't know what that's like injecting oil sub-Q or how the hell you would even do that. But this is what, there was a study that came out recently that showed that to be more effective, that it converts better uh, to less estrogen, et cetera, 